time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Wednesday, May 8th, S&P's down 2.75, NASDAQ down 21, Russell down 14, weakest of the bunch, Elliot. Dow is green, up 141, gold slightly red, silver slightly green, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up about 0.65. Oil up 1%, natural gas down 1%, grains are all red in excess of 1%. Euro in the pound, slightly red, Bitcoin a little bit red. VIX, heat seeking 12, heat seeking the 12 handle, it's at 13.05. Uh, so for today, I had a, my O2 call calendar was a loser. Uh, I'll show you my rut hedges. They're they're a little bit green. Um, my one DTE is up fourteen percent. My I'm still on my original three two reentry <clears throat> in this account, uh, as well as my original one to one reentry in this account. Uh, my NDX is a little bit out of range, and that's my other rut hedge in my challenge portfolio. Uh, I got stopped out of one of my one-to-ones after I ratcheted my stop down and took half off. So that was closed. One DTE up 13%, still on my original three, two. And then I'm in my second one-to-one -one, uh, and I ratcheted that down. So good day overall. The uh, challenge portfolio is up about 6,700, up a couple thousand in my other one. And... I think that's about it. Chad, what's going on with you? Uh, it's another great day in um, Chelsea land. Nice. My first one this morning, <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 80 percent and out. My second one, 20, 40. And I'm let's see here. I'm 20 cents from 60 percent on that one. So that's the only two I have on at the moment. Um, my one DTE is up about 25 percent. So nice, nice green PL day going right now. Um, so for power hour based on premiums, uh, yeah, if I do a straddle, it'll be 30 minutes from now. I or mean, I don't know, I don't even know if I will, but um, because straddles hold their premium a little bit longer, I don't want to jump in one too early here. Um, interestingly enough, these last couple days. Uh, you know, price the VIX has been low. Price movement's been a little. <clears throat> it's been good for TLC. Price movement's been a little muted. So, uh, I don't know if everyone saw in my the Dr. Chad channel, but uh, hold on a second. All right, I had to cough. Um, but I went back. I went back and looked at my trades back in January because that's the VIX was pretty low back then. I remember to kind of see what my um, short strike spreads were as you know, I'm looking at a lunchtime spread today and it's like, man, it's 15 wide. At you know, I'm like, Ugh. you know, cause I'm used to that over the last month or so. Anyway, what I discovered throughout the month of January, my AM iron condors were, 25 points wide most of the time maybe maybe 30 my lunch times were all 5, 10 15 20 points wide and my power hours were all mostly five straddles 
or 10 points max. So what I'm seeing now in my TLC spreads with, is pretty much what I saw in January. Um, so, so you're saying you like uh, Vix in the 13 handle. You know, I, I we've went through it. I went through it in January, and then I went through it with it being volatile. I, you know, I think it's only been two days, really, where it's been down this low. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm setting at four and zero right now in the last two days on TLC trades. So anyway, I you know what what I draw from that I don't know I I just thought it was interesting data to share as I look back on you know when yeah no it, I mean was, it makes sense you, you you certainly get more stable price action when when vol is low um, so yeah I mean yeah. I guess it, you know it works both ways right high impl there's high implied volatility for a reason. Yeah, so you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it does here in the next week or so. But these last two days, I I really haven't been in any real threats of being stopped based on my entries. And uh, we've kind of talked. We talked a little bit about one entry today um, in in my channel. Um, I think it was Ken had a question, and um, you know, I mean, if you if you if you look at the S and P right now. You can very distinctly see one push up, a little bit of a pause, a second push up, and then four or five red bars in a row, but the price movement was only five points or so, and then it just chopped. So, you know, my rules were, were always I want to see the two price pushes, and then when it came down and started to consolidate, right, there's one, that's my first entry. Okay, well, that one I booked 80% out on. So, you know, that's what I was seeing a lot back in January was two price pushes, then some consolidation. So just food for thought. And I just hit 60% on my number two. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. I forgot so to I'll mention I did, I did do one price action and I've still got one lot left. I got at it 20 and 40% and I, and then I changed my last one to a buck it's currently trading at a buck 25 so if that hits i'll i'll be out of that one So we pushed up above the expected move. We fell right back in. Now we're we made another kind of attempt towards it. We're just kind of chopping, chopping underneath. I did do a couple of uh transformer trades today. Um, well, this is actually one I put on a couple days ago. It was just a long call vertical. Price ran up. I sold a this is actually the wrong date, but I sold a vertical against it for 90 cents and that expired worthless yesterday. So then I was in total in the trade for about 60 cents. And then I sold another call vertical today. And so if that expires worthless, essentially I will, I'll make uh, 40 bucks per lot. Or if we push up and pin at 95, I've got a shot at a couple thousand. So that one's looking good. The other one that I did was a, I sold a put spread when we were in this little area here. I thought we'd push back up to the expected move. So sold a, sold a put spread, butterflied it off. So I've got a free butterfly here. So if we pin at 85, that could be worth a couple thousand. So 85 or 95 on either of those. And then on NDX, I had a, I put on yesterday an unbalanced iron condor. I'll, I'll show you that one here in a minute, but I put on an unbalanced iron condor and then I 
flipped it this morning, pretty close, right at the open. And so I've got a couple of free butterflies in NDX as well, but price would need to come down pretty significantly for those to have a shot. Otherwise, I'll book my minimum profit of 90 bucks. Uh, I did just put on another unbalanced condor in NDX that expires tomorrow. And so I'll try to do the same thing. Basically, if we open up tomorrow and we have moved down just a little bit, I should be able to flip that and turn it into what I just showed you, which would be a couple, couple free butterflies. It would look something like this. And we're getting a little down move in SPX. Which is really helping my 1DTE big time. Oh, yes. And right here, I'm sitting dead center on my lunchtime num number one. My, my second and final trade is dead center. I tried to, I'm trying to do another transformer here too. I'm also in a, uh, a long put spread here. It's pretty much at break even right now. I'm looking for a little bit more down move. I'll try to butterfly that off. I'll show you that if I, if it happens, if we bounce back up, I'm just going to close it for a little loss. <clears throat> I'll post this, I'll post this image for people in the live chat that <clears throat> maybe we're not this morning in my channel there. So when it comes to TLC, I mean, this is what was just an everyday occurrence. It seemed like in January, the two arrows of the two pushes and then the consolidation. And so I think I got in like it, the first or second green bar right in there for my first trade today. Now, sometimes it would, it, you know, not always would go two pushes up. It might go a push up and then a push down or push down, push down. But there was typically two pushes. Uh, Dev D, so today is considered a neutral day. So I'm not trading power hour. The premiums are just so low. So if it's a neutral day, so if it's not an up day, if it's not a down day, then I consider it a neutral day and and I might do something on a discretionary basis for power hour, but with premiums this low, I haven't, I, I don't have any bots set up to do anything. And, you know, I may, I may do a straddle here at some point, but probably doubtful. Just let my remaining positions play out my re-entries from earlier. I'll take a peek at what the 5185 straddle looks like here. Just bounced right back up. No follow through. Yeah. VIX got down to 13.01 today, holding above that 12 handle. Six dollars and forty-five cents is that straddle. Fifty-one eighty-five. Let's see what it looks like here. I analyze it. I mean, it has been between eighty and ninety. Fifty-one eighty and fifty-one ninety for what? About 85 minutes. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Gonna continue to monitor that. It's plenty of time. Plenty of time.
Yeah, Deb D, I actually I need to I need to clarify that. I talked about it in my trade plan a couple of months ago in the video, but I need to put it on the sheet here to clarify when I would trade that neutral day. My one DTE is sitting right here. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Up a little under 2,000. Uh, discount, I was stopped in my challenge portfolio on my one-to-one -one after I had reduced it. And so I re-entered on that one. And then my other account, my one-to-one, -one, I'm still in my original one. So got slightly different strikes. NDX back in range slightly. My rut hedge, here's the one from uh, that'll expire today. It's it's slightly green. Rut needs to stay the weakest of the bunch. And then the one that I put on today that expires tomorrow is it's still in the valley, but we have till tomorrow on that one. So I don't put on another TLC and I end up getting filled at 80% on my last contract that I have on. I would have a 4000 plus $4,050 for two trades again today. So my question is, do I want to mess with a straddle? And risk it, or just again book the four thousand. Move on to tomorrow. Risk it. Go for it. <laughs> I knew what you were going to say. Yesterday was forty five ninety five. Monday was 2050. Do have to say, if you're booking two to 4,500 bucks a, a day, that can add up quick. Uh, Chris, not really anything to figure out. I mean, if there's a, I mean, as you know, just a very slight difference in timing, you know, the market's moving. So it can, uh, be based on slightly different strikes. Steve, One have you ease up about twenty two percent? Steve, have you paid any attention to the Morning day trading live stream at all in May? I have not. I haven't been on it now. Have you been doing I good? Al I have already made in four days more than I did the entire month of April. Oh, nice. Four green days, up a little over four grand. Had a nice day today, 13.25. I don't see a post today. I usually... Oh, wait. Oh, you made 1300 today? I see it now. Yeah, it's in the, it's a video. Gotcha. I, I did a, I did a video today because I did three trades. If I only do like one trade or sometimes even two, I don't really do a video because this is typically if you're in the live stream and I've only done one trade, you know, you're not going to learn that much. But if I've done multiple trades, three or four, then I usually do a video.
can't keep Mr. SPX down, can you? Every little dip gets bounced. You know, the 5185 straddle will be sitting real good now, right now. It's premiums. You know, I can even recycle some longs if I wanted to. Build per dollar on my last uh, piece of my price action trade. All right, I am in the... I am in the fifty-one eighty-five straddle for at six fifteen. I recycled some longs. And a boy, way to get in there. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think I think you're right over the long run, Elliot. That will benefit you. It just sucks whenever we have you have a big move, right? And you don't get to participate with those. All right, so four point nine would be my profit target. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'd like to little get a little down move for many, many reasons. So tomorrow is Thursday. We've got unemployment claims pre-market. We've got a 30-year bond auction at noon. And we've got FOMC member daily speaking at 1 p.m. Central. You don't really need to hear from that guy. I believe that's a lady. Well, <laughs> her either. <laughs> Actually, I'm not positive now that you say that. Yeah, Mary Daly. Well, you never know. Mary could be a dude too these days. No. Definitely. Yeah, I like that idea, Mauro. We could just get a little pullback, hit some PTs, and then we can do whatever.
Mary Daly, due to participate in a fireside chat at George Mason University in Virginia. Oh, fireside chat, huh? Love, love a good fireside chat. <clears throat> yeah, I had, I had some of those when I was uh, principal. With you know, I had fireside chats with Dr. Searcy uh, with parents and and students. Nothing Student better advisory than fireside chat. Oh yeah, I mean, you open it up, just let all kinds of parents come in and just tell you everything you're doing wrong. I love it. <laughs> Did everybody see the notification from Trade Steward? about the switch over to Schwab for you TD, TD accounters. Should have seen it right when you logged in. Also, has anyone started doing anything with the webhook stuff with TradingView? I'm going to be diving into that here shortly, but curious if anyone else has looked at it yet. What do you think, White Tiger? Great. Cool. Yeah, that was a question I had too, Elliot. I don't know. Here's the uh, here's the link about it that he posted in the announcements when he talked about it. But I haven't had a chance to to jump in yet. I've got a couple of things I want to start testing that would be based off of. Just using a, an indicator in trading view. So I will share what I find when I jump in, but just curious if anyone else is. White Tiger, are you, um, so you, are you, you already trading some strategies using it? Back up we go. So you launch all your legs at once with one button. So it's kind of like a manual launch type situation. But instead of having multiple bots, you can do it all at once. Is that, am I reading that right? That's high enough. That is high enough is right. I mean, if it gets up to 5190, I might have to put on the 5190 straddle. 5190 is right at the expected move area.
I'll see what this next bar does. Before I rush to a power hour two. <clears throat> Been rejected plenty of times right where it's at now. A couple times. VIX back down to lows of day. Just wanting to get into that 12 handle. Haven't been there since March. End of March. Ooh, looks like it might want to go higher. Yeah, I might I might go in for a ninety straddle. It's looking better and better. It's got to get up there a little further, though, for me to go in. It's got to get up to 90 for me to go in. I don't have a straddle template. All right. I guess I got to go old school. Five seventy five. Yeah, it's not there yet for me. I'm still going to wait. Not there for me yet. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this old expected move can reject it or hold. Uh, Dev D, <clears throat> I, I, I mentioned that I uh, used longs that I already had on. I had worthless... Longs on from a previous trade. <clears throat> I 
I don't do that often, but it was pretty appropriate to do it here, I think. Just realized my I just realized my last contract that's left on my lunchtime number one is using the fifty one ninety call. So no fifty one ninety straddle for me until that <clears throat> closes. I could just close it out. And VIX made it. I'm going to hold off on the 90, 5190 <clears throat> straddle because it just hasn't gotten up there yet. And because that strike is being used, seventy seven to ninety two. So we've been really coming back until after the first hour. We've been in a fifteen point range all day. Yeah, and so that's what makes those AM iron condors so profitable when you can get in there 25.30 wide. That's something else I looked at back in January was how profitable were my AM iron condors. And uh, every day of the week, they were green. I'm going to go ahead and close this last 5190 strike I've got here. Essentially, I'd be closing it for 60% and out, just in case I have to put on the 5190 straddle. I was actually thinking about that Dark Avenger. I like the idea. I'm going to leave that downside skew, though. I'm not going to diagonalize. Give it a little, little bit of an upside bias. All right, I'm not not there yet, so I'm ready to pull the trigger on the 5190 straddle, but it's got to get up, got to push up closer to like 5189 because down movement will help me, 
and I want it to be where down movement, uh, I'm sorry, where uh, up movement helps me. Well, down movement helps me both. Just need to see it. Get a little more centered. I'm currently actually positive in my power hour number one. So again, not going to add to it yet. Not going to add any more risk quite yet. Let's see if this pushes up or not. Thank you for the reminder, Dark Avenger. I like that. Let's see, I got filled. 575. You should be getting some profits coming in. Or 60 is what I'm looking for to 520. Hold here for a couple more minutes, should hit 20%. How wide did you go? I did a 90 straddle. Oh. I bought the... Uh, Sixty five puts and the fifteen calls. So twenty five wide. I couldn't get filled there on thirty wide. So we cancel that. Tried to get in there on the fifty one ninety, but couldn't. At the money, 90 butterflies trading for about a dollar sixty five. Can't get filled. It's too bad. Darn it. All right, scratch that. Now that it pushed up to 5189, I was trying to get in, but just couldn't. I wonder if I try to just reuse my longs here.
Getting closer. Yeah, now I can't even get... So my 85% profit target on my one to one is at a buck 25. That one's trading at 225. My three two, it's at 245. That one's got that one's got a ways to go. Yeah. Can't get filled, give up on it. Now it's well under five bucks. <clears throat> Even it's just a strangle and I use my Longs that I have on, reuse them. So I'll just, I'll just roll with the fifty-one eighty-five. It's currently trading at 580. I need Still need 30 more cents. I wouldn't take much of a down move to get 20%. Well, my oldest turns 16 today. Hard to believe. Here's my one DTE. It's up about 15%. VIX down to 1294. Man, a lot of premium in these strangles. Still, as we get... To 20 minutes left. If it could sit right at 5187, that'd be good for both of us. Got a little bounce, and then it can come down. NDX is right on the border. It's going to need to come down a little bit to, to profit. Looks like it might.
I need 30 cents. There we go. There's 20%. Nice. Darn it. Yeah. Bounced up on me, so I didn't hit 20. I need, I need to stop pushing or some quick theta. That was 30 cents away. Choppy, choppy, choppy. I mean, it's acting like it wants new highs of day. Yeah, it's been, it's been, S and P's been tough to. It's been tough going green. It's gone green and then gets pushed back into the red. Yeah, we are right at yesterday's close, aren't we? Which is pretty yeah. close to the upside expected move for the day. Yeah. Back to needing 30 cents. Man, um, I always tell myself I'm going to be out of straddles by 245 Central because, you know, it can really go awry quickly the last 10 minutes or so. So I think today I'm going to follow that notion to just close her out here in the next minute or two yeah i might do the same that way i can looks like magic mahomes is going to be in play it just seems like more times than not when i've got a straddle on and i have no proof of this but it seems like i lose profits because of a move it makes the last 10 minutes And I think it's totally fine to do that, you know, not follow, not necessarily follow the rules to where you either get stopped or you get hit your profit target. Ninety butterfly trading for about a dollar eighty, maybe. It's getting close. I'll give it a few more minutes as we get closer to the MOC number. Yeah, you're you're sitting probably a lot better than I am. Closer to center than I am. Close, yep.
I'm going to get out at four bucks. Yeah, I'm so close to 20%. Job people's man. He was in on the 50. He was in on the 90 straddle. I mean, if I can just get a little more theta. All right, there we go. I'm out. Getting into my homes. All right. Out at 550. So not quite 20%. We got in at 615 and out at 550. I did not get filled on my fly yet. It's bouncing around my order. I'm on the put side because I've got a uh I've got a uh other position on the call side. Ah. Oh, there we go, filled. Yeah, I needed four ninety. It got down to five twenty a couple times. So it just got out of 550. So I'm done. That was a $600 winner. So I can't, can't be upset about that. So I am out of TLC for the day. Right. So very similar to yesterday. Plus 4,440 today on three trades instead of two. I missed the MOC number. So I thought I heard million. So I think small. Thanks. Yeah, 165 million. All right. Need to get away from 90. Nine minutes to move away from 90. It's 
Good job, Allie. Ninety five pin would be beautiful for my other transformer. Or an eighty five pin would be beautiful. Eighty five or ninety five, just not ninety. Preferably eighty five for my other stuff. Uh, Mukesh, this is one that I just, I had a vertical on and I transformed it into a butterfly for a credit. I'll be, I'll be talking more about these at some point. I'll be doing a class on some different strategies. It's just something I, something I did earlier today. No, it's not portfolio margin. You can do it in a, in a standard margin account. All right, I like the down move. My one DTE hit 85%. Come on down to 85, the water's warm. Well, I am out of everything, so I'm gonna take off and go get the boys and celebrate Slayton's birthday. All righty, tell them happy birthday. All right, I'll see everybody tomorrow. I could never really get a straight answer discount. Well, you know, our proprietary risk measures, blah, blah, blah. So we'll see what it does to him. Close out my three, two. My one DTE will be closing here in a few seconds. Looks like it'll book about eight or nine percent. Need price to move away from 90 for my, Mr. Mahomes. Four minutes. One DTE is closing.
Uh, eighteen percent. That's pretty good. I made seven on mine. Good day in the challenge portfolio. A little over seven k. Three minutes, Mahomes. You got three minutes to make a move. Highs of day was about 92. All right, let's get up to 95 then. We're not going down. One minute. Hmm. Not looking so hot. Oh, it's coming back down. My home's magic. Might be coming to life. Got to get down to 85. In the last minute, Hail Mary. Come on. Five seconds. Eighty seven sixty seven. My transformer did good. Booked about 1,200 on that, on one of them. On the Mahomes, it's going to be a little loser. Yeah, minus, minus thir my, about minus 1,400 on a 20 lot. All right, good day overall. Good day overall. All right, my friends. Uh, Chad will be back at the Open tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is the 9th. Chad will be at the Open. And then Chad will also be running Power Hour tomorrow solo. So everybody have a good one. Chat with you soon. Cheers.